guys, welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation. We are on day number nine, believe it or not, and today I am reviewing a powder foundation, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Powder. If you have missed the first eight days, I will have them linked down below. There's also a giveaway in every single video. I've updated all the links now, so you should be able to retroactively go back and enter the giveaways. As always, be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this type of video, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm actually a gigantic fan of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop line. I reviewed the liquid, which um, I did review I got like kind of a sneak peek of that and I didn't get my right shade so I'm shade caramel in both of the complexion products in this one and in the liquid I love the concealer too I think the whole line is great I use this so often to set my face but I figured I would review it as a powder because I do love a powder foundation I think they can be super easy and they look a lot better I feel like than people think I think people think they're gonna be like cakey and heavy and dry looking but a lot of them are really really great and I've reviewed quite a few so I'm gonna go ahead head now and prime my face do my under eye concealer and set that because that's how I do my powder foundation um, it's kind of the last step as opposed to the first step like it would be with a liquid so I will be right back so there's actually 10 grams of product in here which isn't a ton but isn't like not a lot either it comes in 24 shades which I think is amazing as I mentioned I'm wearing the shade caramel and I'm gonna be using my real techniques buffing brush this is one of my favorite brushes for powder foundation I actually decided to skip out on the primer today just because um, I literally just moisturized my face and I think I'm in a good place to just go straight in and let me know if you guys wear powder foundation. I feel like people kind of do one or the other. I'm definitely a fan of both. I find powder to be super easy. I do find with powder foundation though, generally I like to use a setting spray, no matter what. But my other favorite powder foundations, like the MAC Studio Fix is a classic. The Too Faced is awesome. I've been wearing that all year. Just gonna build it up a little bit. It doesn't really have claims of like coverage. It says like it's buildable coverage, seamless, matte finish, but doesn't have claims on like whether or not it's full coverage or not. The, the liquid is quite full coverage and quite matte. It's awesome. So honestly, I did just get up and debate taking this off. It looks so muddy. I've actually never worn it on its own as a powder foundation. I've only ever used it to set my face. I don't know why. It looks so muddy in terms of the color and also just the way it's like clinging to my face in a weird way and oxidizing. I feel like I look like a coal miner. <laughs> and it's not the exact look I'm going for, but I'm gonna carry on, I guess. I don't really want to, but I'm just going to take this Laura Mercier powder, and I know this is like a little bit against the rules, but I've got something happening after this that I need to look decent for, <laughs> so I'm just going to run this over my face just to lighten things up a little bit, just lightly. More for pigmentation than for like mattifying or anything, you know, just to... I think once I get my blush and highlighter on, it might look better. Ugh. This is painful. I hate when <laughs> my makeup doesn't work out, especially from the absolute get-go. But let me go do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so with the rest of my makeup on, I think things have come together a little bit more. I will say it's not really doing much in the way of favors for texture and pores on my skin. I do feel like those look a little bit enhanced, but it does look good. I feel like I could probably go a shade down, which is interesting because I like that shade for setting my foundation, but just alone on my face, I feel like it's a little bit darker. or Maybe it oxidizes in direct contact with my skin. I'm not totally sure. For photos, uh, definitely you can see that kind of coal miner chic I'll call it, uh, looking real patchy. That was before I added the Laura Mercier, so not a great performance there. Right now, looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a few more hours and I will check back with you in some natural light. Hey guys, coming to you with my midday check-in. I think you can see I'm oily and I'm patchy and the color is off. Um, <laughs> Not going great, definitely doesn't feel that comfortable. I'm also going to nap again today. I woke up at 2 a.m. I don't know if anyone else is having crazy like insomnia, but I woke up at two and just decided to do work because um, I was wide awake. And um, anyways, and then I had a bunch of stuff this morning. That's not why you're here. So yeah, things don't look great. I don't see it getting much better, but I will check back with you this evening. 
Has anyone else that's a YouTuber come on after, at the end of the day, of a foundation review and look as haggard as me? Like, I feel like it's only me. Anyways, I am back. Want to give a quick shout out to these lipsticks. I've been wearing them literally all day. And I napped, I ate. They're CoverGirl, they're matte lipsticks. They go on like a cream and dry down to like a liquid lipstick almost in Gemini and Stay With Me. It looks a little bit bright, but I wore them for television this morning. Um, and I think my makeup looked good from like kind of farther away on Skype, but a pers in person, it's not great. It's funny, I drank something today and it dripped by accident and I got a crazy watermark on my chin immediately, I noticed. Um, looks muddy and dark. It's weird because I love this to set my makeup. I traveled with it, it's great. So as a powder foundation, I don't love it as much. Again, maybe if I tried a lighter shade, but I don't know, something about it is bizarre. But I will say, I did like nap and eat and stuff. Like it's still around, but it just doesn't look great. So also my hair is in pigtails because that's how I sleep with my curly hair. <laughs> but yeah, overall, a little bit disappointed in this as a powder foundation and even if I do need to switch shades and it would be better something to note that would annoy me would be the fact that I'm not the same from liquid to powder that's always really uh, helpful when buying shades but I do like I said if you're buying that just to set your face I have no problem with using it that way so let me know down below if you have tried this I would love to hear your thoughts I love the line itself but as a powder foundation I'm uh, on it so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye